All right, listen. I went to New Orleans recently and I got punched in the face off some little asshole on Bourbon Street. Now, you might have seen this story. You might have heard it on Believe You Me. You might have seen me talk about it on Instagram. But we've had some developments from the Bourbon Street bastard. That is what I called this guy. The audacity of this man. He has gone out there and done a YouTube video calling me a little bitch, saying his right hand was fresh, and we're going to get into it, okay? But before we talk about it, remember, subscribe, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Now... A few months ago, I got out to New Orleans for a few days with my family. Never been. Want to see some of this beautiful country. Obviously, there's many, many beautiful cities and states that I haven't been to yet. So we go down to New Orleans. And like an idiot, I stayed on Bourbon Street. The place is the pit. It is hell on earth. New Orleans was very, very cool. And by the way, with Hurricane Ida, I hope everyone's well down there. Terrible scenes. So wishing you all the best. But still, we went down there. We had a lovely time in New Orleans. But as I say, Bourbon Street's awful. But our hotel was right on it. Oh my God, never again. So we have a few nice days in uh, New Orleans. Final night, there's me, my wife, Ellie, my daughter, and Lucas, my son. Callum was away wrestling. I said, come on, let's just walk down Bourbon Street the final night. You know, soak up the atmosphere because it is crazy. It is a scene. It's a bit of a laugh. You know, you've got people throwing up. Everyone's hammered. They're wasted. There's, there's a lot of mental stimulation going on. I said, so let's walk down there. Let's check it out. So we're walking down the street. And uh, there's madness, there's people everywhere, people throwing up, everyone's drunk. And there's like a, a group of uh, young guys and they're playing drums on like some dustbins and stuff like that. And they were actually really good. And there's girls twerking. It was, it was kind of a wild scene. So anyway, everyone's standing around, they're watching them. It's loud, they're proud, they're making noise. So like a typical tourist asshole, I pulled the phone out and I'm just doing a little Instagram story, as you do. And some guy comes up to me, he says, hey, can I film here? I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? I said, it's Bourbon Street. Shut the hell up. And he says, listen, you can't film here, okay? And I'm like, dude, it's Bourbon Street. If you want to film here, I'm going to film here. And then he gets in my face. He says, hey, I'm not going to tell you again. Put the phone away. So I said, suck my fucking dick, right? Because he was being very aggressive. He was in my face. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Anyway, right as I say that, bang, he punches me in the face. So God bless him. Fair play to the guy. I didn't see it coming. Uh, but it was the weakest punch I've ever felt in my life. Now, there was a lot going on. I'm with my kids. I'm with my wife. I'm not going to roll around on the streets and have a fight. Secondly, I didn't feel any threat anyway because it was honestly the weakest punch I've ever felt in my life. And my God's honest reaction to when he punched me, I started laughing. I started laughing so hard because... He acted so tough and he got in my face like he was a real gangster. And then he had the balls to throw the punch. And when it connected, oh my God, Lucas, my 11-year-old, he could hit me harder, honestly. So I laughed, right? And I'm walking away laughing my head off. I'm like, come on, get out of here. As I say, I'm not going to fight. But secondly, you guarantee someone's got a weapon. Someone's got a gun, something like that. And I'm with my kids on vacation. Come on. So I walk away and I'm laughing about the whole thing because uh, he gave me something to talk about on my podcast on Believe You Me. So whatever, all good, I wasn't hurt. Anyway, a few days later, it starts coming out. This guy is at it again. He's, he's always got the same clothes on. Some people on Twitter sent me a video of this guy and he assaults somebody else. The guy, this guy that he hit was walking away, he sneaks up behind him, boom, punches him in the face. Same clothes, same neck scarf, same jeans, same hairstyle. It was the same guy. Anyway, the reason I'm telling you all of this is because yesterday it comes out on YouTube this little shit has gone out and given his own version of events. Did a little YouTube story. And uh, yeah, check it out. Take a look. What's up, YouTube? So I'm here today to talk to y'all about this shit that happened on Bourbon Street with me and Michael Bisping. So come to find out, he actually was a UFC fighter, which I did not know that was him. But if I did know that was him, I probably would have still hit this motherfucker anyways. But... Anyways, this the full this the full breakdown of what happened. So he's sitting there filming a band or whatever, right? I have a high tendency of cameras being pointed towards me in certain areas and certain locations because of my past history. But so he's filming a band or whatever, right? But I see him walk past me. I didn't recognize him. I would have recognized him, but it was too dark or whatever out there. So he's just chilling, recording a band or whatever. So I see his phone go to my face. Put my hand up and say, yo, stop filming me. He says, what? I said, stop filming me. He said, this is Bourbon Street. This is a public place. So I'm like, 
All right, it's a public place. Respect my mind. Don't film me. So he like, uh, yeah, I do what the fuck I want. This is Bourbon Street. Suck my dick. I said, yeah, suck your dick. <laughs> All right, anyways. Suck your dick, huh? It took a little, like, a little bit just to register. Because I'm like, what the fuck? So once he told me to suck his dick, about six seconds in, I punched him. But I punched him so quick to where it was like, it wasn't shit, but it was something. My right hand is fractured, so all that bullshit going around talking about, I hit soft as a bitch, this and that, I'm a pussy, this and that. People who know me know me, so that's all I got to say for as, as far as that, that instance. But to say I actually really wanted to be a UFC fighter, and like I actually hit a UFC fighter, that shit was crazy how it played out. But of course, he's going to actually sit there and say, oh yeah, he hits like a bitch, he's a pussy, this and that. Everybody going to talk this shit, this and that, but... Michael Bisping, you a bitch. If you want to fight or you're one-on-one -on -one or whatever, I'm down. So, yeah, that's that. Signing out. Peace. All right, so as you can see, I mean, even if the guy is a juvenile delinquent, if he is a thug and he's going out assaulting people, he's very honest because that is basically what happened. He says the same version of events as I did, and then he punches me out of the blue. But I've just got a few things to say, my friend. Number one, you're not very smart. We know this anyway, but still, you're saying to me that you didn't want me filming because basically you've got a criminal past, but now you're going to do a video and you're going to put it on YouTube and you're going to rat yourself out. I mean, if I was a little bitch, if I was as much of, as a bitch of you, as you, I could go to the cops and say, look, here it is. Here's the guy. So you've ratted yourself out. You've grassed yourself up, as we say in England, for one. But still, I wouldn't dream of doing that. Secondly, he says, on oh, my right hand, it's fresh. Bro, bro, your right hand ain't fresh. I'm telling you, mate. When you hit me, I laughed my ass off. You, your right hand is fresh. No, your right hand is the opposite of fresh. Your right hand, if it was a carton of milk, is that one it has been at the back of the fridge. It's got all moldy. It stinks. You pour it out. Blah, 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 blah. It's all gloopy. It looks like cottage cheese. It is anything but fresh. And then finally, at the end, you're calling me out to a one-on-one -on -one fight. Holy shit. Oh, my God. This is hilarious. Listen, mate. I'm not interested in fighting you, and I wish you all the best. You've obviously got some problems, you've got some challenges in life, but if you really want to fight, I've got an offer for you. Listen, you clearly need the money, right? So here's what I'll do. On my podcast, Believe You Me, we have a little guy called Harrington, right? He cannot fight. He's doing a little bit of training these days. He thinks he can fight, but he's out of shape. He's not skilled. He's not very smart, right? I'll give you $1,000, guaranteed, I will give you $1,000 if you have an exhibition sparring match with Harrington from the Believe You Me podcast. If you're such a tough guy and you want to fight, there it is, my friend, you Bourbon Street bitch. $1,000 to fight Harrington. But still, in the meantime, there you go. Can you believe this? This guy, after all this time, comes out, does a little video. I thought it's in the end of this guy, but we've got to find him. We've got to terrorize him. If you know who he is, send me some info. But yeah, there you go, buddy. If you see this video, I'm offering you $1,000 to have a boxing match against Mike Harrington from the Believe You Me podcast. There you go. Ball's in your court, buddy. Anyway, there it is. The Bourbon Street bitch, the Bourbon Street bastard. He probably won't take the money, but you never know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe, ring the bell.